Next we have uh, Cynthia Conroy. Good evening, Mayor and Council, Mr. Heratic, Ms. Arduna, citizens, TV land, and of course my favorite personality admirer, Allison McLeod. Focus closely. Thank you, Allison. Okay, I'm Cynthia Conroy, and here you can see me attacked by Allison on YouTube anytime you want. I hope so. But that's not why, why I'm here, though I'd love to invite people to do all kinds of fun things, like visit YouTube and Google constantly, which obviously a lot of you have done. However, you should know, because nobody else seems to know this, and I'm not sure why the people have come up to speak. This mayor and council gave all of us citizens the opportunity to come to a breakfast. I was the only one there. None of you were there meaning I wasn't the only one there, but I was the only one there who wasn't in one of the four committees selected by our mayor and council to interview all of the candidates for city manager. And since I wasn't selected, I thought, wow, breakfast, I'll go and meet the candidates. And I did, I met them all. They were all charming, but one of them was my favorite. Guess what, it wasn't Mr. Marsh. I decided my favorite after interviewing all of them. And then I told a few people who my favorite was, not that it mattered because I don't really have a vote or any power whatsoever, though some people mistakenly think I do. Anyway, so I told my favorite. It's none of your business who my favorite is. But anyway, by the end of the day, having met Mr. Marsh accidentally at lunch, and then again in the afternoon interviews, he became my favorite candidate. So I was shocked when I heard, nobody sent me a direct email, email but indirectly heard that there was a, a maddening crowd here you are, you're the maddening crowd. A maddening crowd who knew nothing, you've established that by the two people who've already spoken and called to the public. Now, now, here's the deal. I am on planning and zoning now. I am on Parks and Rec. I have been on Bisbee Arts. I was on planning and zoning 30 years ago. I was on Parks and Rec 25 years ago. I'm currently on that Bisbee committee. Mm -hmm. And I volunteer my time doing the Bisbee 1000, which is a pain, by the way, in case none of you know that. So. I have given nonprofit funds. I have loved this town. My children have graduated from this high school. My oldest son was currently paralyzed with a brain disease, still named his firstborn, Warren, because he so loved growing up on Shattuck Street. So there's no one here who's any more or less invested, as I'm sure, than I am. I just want to give you a little picture of who I am, because after all, you may have heard it from Allison, and you'll, you'd be wrong. Anyway, thank you for giving us the opportunity to meet these candidates. Through a breakfast, an afternoon meeting, you've done your job, and I congratulate you because I happen to know you have vetted people because that's the thing professional elected people do. None of you are sitting up here naive yeah, and ignorant. Sorry, I believe sorry, sorry about that. I, okay, so anyway, like congrats on person. picking the most most talented person of the four choices that you had. And from what I've seen, a guy who actually Ms. can Conroy. probably help us out with our, our shortage of funding for this town's many Ms. projects. Conroy. Okay, I'm done. Thank you, Mr. Marsh. Thank you, Cynthia. All of you, all, and I'll go home and watch on you. Was oh, that an endorsement or what? <laughs> okay, I, think, I believe that uh, concludes call of the public, unless somebody else would like to go up now. I guess we're going to do that, but that concludes that.